now we are discussing about centripetal force in neat examination there might be have questions related to this topic centripetal force first of all we have to know what is centripetal force suppose a body of mass m is moving through a circular path of radius r with velocity v then it will experience an acceleration due to its change in direction of its velocity and this acceleration is called a centripetal acceleration or center seeking acceleration and we have f is equal to ma so it will experience a force f equal to mv square by r so for a body to move through a circular path if its mass is m and velocity is v and radius is r it will have a force that is called a centripetal force or central seeking force that is mv square by r and some questions may be asked related to this topic first one is for a satellite we know what is a satellite suppose a satellite of mass small m is revolving around a planet of mass capital m and the distance between their centers is r then in order to keep this satellite in this circular path there should be the centripetal force here the cent necessary centripetal force is provided by the gravitational force of attraction between these two masses so the necessary centripetal force mv square by r is equal to g m m divided by r square now come to the case of a revolving electron we know electron is revolving around the nucleus and the nucleus have a charge z e so this is the atomic number this electron is revolving with velocity v through the orbit of radius r so here the necessary centripetal force is provided by this coulomb's force or electrostatic force so mv square by r equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is z d into e divided by r square similarly for a cyclotron we know when a charge enters to a perpendicular magnetic field it will experience maximum lorentz force and it will execute circular motion suppose the radius is r and charge is q magnetic field is p so the maximum lorentz force is qvb the actual equation is qvb sin theta here sin theta equal to 1 so force equal to qvb so the necessary centripetal force is provided by this maximum lorentz force qvb suppose another case a circular flat rod if a car is taking a turn through a circular path of radius r and the normal reaction is n so the necessary centripetal force mv square by r is provided by the frictional force the frictional force is directly proportional to normal reaction that is equal to mu n so this centripetal force and related problems may be asked related to these questions the first one is for a satellite then for electron for cyclotron and for the circular motion and every aspect you have to take care of that in every circular motion there is recurring forces centripetal force that is mv square by r in various situations that is providing by different different other forces here for a satellite that is gravitational force for electron it is electrostatic force for cyclotron it is magnetic lorentz force and for this circular curvature that is frictional force so we can summarize these things like this for a satellite mv square by r is equal to gmm by r square and for revolving electron that is mv square by r is equal to uh, our electrostatic force 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r square and for cyclotron mv square by r is equal to qvb circular flat rod mv square by r is equal to mu n so please remember this thing all these motions are related to circular motion for circular motion they are recurring centripetal force that centripetal force is provided by different agencies so remember these equations